So I'm here to convince you the reality of Santa Claus. Now you may be saying to yourself, dude, it's the middle of June. Why is it that you're speaking of Santa Claus? Well, yesterday was my birthday and I didn't get a cake, but I got a lot of presents. And the greatest gift that we can actually receive is the present moment. And you're gonna see how Santa Claus and the clause that is of the saints is actually something which affects our lives year round and isn't only necessarily restricted to Christmas time. Now, what is Santa Claus and where does this term actually originate from? Well, if we break down the word itself and we say Santa relatable to the word saint or somebody of moral outstanding ethical character, meaning that they uphold the most virtuous ideals in their life. And we look at the word clause, meaning a pact, a treaty, or a bill, somewhat of a contract. And now we take this term and we actually rearrange it to make more sense within our life. And then we say the saint clause, or it's literally a, a treaty or a bill or a contract where it is based upon our saintly nature. And the more saint-like we are, the greater gifts we are to receive in that the greatest gift we can receive is the present moment. And the present moment is actually determined by what? Our actions, what we go through life actually doing. So if we go through life participating in saint-like behaviors, then the treaty or the bill states we will receive good presents. And this is how Santa Claus is able to traverse the vast immense space that is the world in a moment itself because the moment is simultaneously occurring everywhere at once. And so Santa Claus is real folks. All you had to do was look for him and he would eventually show himself to you. Peace out. This is another take of Euphoric Contentions. Join me next time folks as we explore the recesses of the mind and all the beautiful wonders it has to behold.